All right, hello again, Jacob, Eight Air Honey Farm, soon to be Eight Air Honey Corp. <laughs> uh, this is our bottom room. You're, he's looking. He's got us me pointed at the wrong area. <laughs> this is uh, our operation. This is our warming tank. You stick uh, two barrels in here, and we just got it running insulated door with a heat lamp. And uh, I believe this is 50 gallons each, or maybe it's 60 gallons. Uh, double jacketed uh, uh, bottling machine. I just call it not bottling machine, but warm tank. Bottling tank. tank. Bo bottling tank. There, there we go. It's a bottling tank. It's a no drip valve, so you don't. Yeah. You can completely stop the flow instantly. Maxing it. Yep. And uh, we also got it fitted to connect to this hose over here. And we, we got two of those. And uh, this is our newest addition to the family. Is a Lysan. Uh, bottling machine and we use it to bottle our glass our quartz pints half pints and we actually even bottle our 12 ounce bears wherever those are uh y'all know what a 12 ounce bear looks like and uh we can run that all off of this the table's adjustable it spins i'm not gonna mess with it because <laughs> an old man usually does that uh it's just showing know, just kind of our caps some inventory. Just show them some of the jars, yeah. 12 ounce bear. We used to have a square 12 ounce bear like this, but we had a switch for the bottling <laughs> machine to this red. I mean, this round. And then uh, pints, we just went to the bar code. Yep. And uh, quartz. I'm sure all y'all know what a quart and a pint <laughs> looks like. But this is the best quart and pint they'd ever see. Yes, yes, this is the best. Tennessee, West Tennessee honey, ever. There's 75,000 pounds to everybody. There's, they're at 40 hey, different give stores. Or take, give or take. There's four oh, different, 40 different a, stores. This is actually our spring honey. This is our summer doohickey. Yeah, and there's some dark stuff. Some dark stuff. Oh, well. uh, yeah. All right, moving on over. Skedaddling. Snack. Show or when we get out of the field, <laughs> uh, microwave, off the machine. All right, so the main shop area is pretty uh, 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 hectic. <laughs> so on my side, I work on cars, I'm an automotive enthusiast. So I kind of got my junk mixed in with the B stuff. And uh, so this is where we graft off of. This is where we do our grafting into the cups. We use the Chinese grafting tool and uh, a little spit, and that's how we graft. Work in the dark. Okay. Now, this is when it's extracting time. This is where this forklift parking spot is. This is our hot room. This is where we dehydrate our honey in West Tennessee. We uh, average around a 20%. Humidity in our honey, so we have to dry it out before we extract it. Uh, but in the off season, we use it as storage. So we got everything from pints, caps, quarts, half pints, furniture, forklift. So the whole nine yards. And this is uh, how we mix up our feed. Get the little feed machine. Random car parts. Don't mind that. And uh, this is where the magic happens. Don't look like it, but it <laughs> does. We, uh, when season gets to kicking, we give this thing a scrub and set everything up. Uh, so I forgot the brands of everything, but we have a chain type uncapper where it spins around and flicks off the cappings. And then it goes onto the table and it goes to this, I think it's a uh, 30, 143. Think, no, no, 120 something frame extractor hidden under this tarp. And a little peek under the skirt. Yeah, one of our easy zippers. This is where we melt our wax. Uh, this is where we melt the wax. But before we get to here, we get to our. I forgot what it's called, but it's separate. Like kind of auger, yeah. It separates the uh, honey from yep. the wax cappings. So we auger it into this machine. And uh, 
Yeah, we auger it to this PVC pipe. It comes out, it spins and spins. It's like basically a second extractor. And then we shave off all the rest of the wax into a 55 gallon drum. Pretty much turn around, take a shovel like an old train conductor, <laughs> throw it in the, our old bottling tank, which is now wax melter, melt down our wax. We do it a double, uh, a double wax melt. Uh, and we thoroughly strain the wax. To a few not, times, yeah. Yeah, a few times. There's like, you know, here's all different stages, you know, to get this kind of stuff out of our wax. So it looks like this. Uh, Frames up here. Frames. Like a couple hundred. Yeah, a couple hundred. And then this is their wax painting station. Yeah. Right here, they use these little uh, well, pots. We do this in the main room, but uh, we just got moved over here. This is just a fry daddy. We heat it up. Uh, I think Cayman uses yeah. rollers. We just use the paint brushes because. Because mm. old man's what we so. have. It's what <laughs> we have. We work with what we have, you know, all on a budget. Yes. Yeah, that's the runabout at Adrian Honey Farm. Uh, that's kind of all I got for y'all. I'll do a better, or we'll probably do a follow up video when it's extracting and it actually looks like a <laughs> beekeeper shop and not a whole hectic mess. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, thank you to Reindeer, Apiary, Reindeer, Bees, yeah. Bees. Uh, if y'all know what Apiary means, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, uh, but anyways, yeah, y'all have a great and a great day, blessed day, and y'all take care. Peace.